Good morning, everybody. How are you feeling today? Yeah. You all look so beautiful. We have a big crowd. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. My name is Kelsey Jones, and I'm a reporter with WTKR News 3. I don't take being at this podium here for granted. Being a Newport News native, this is huge for our community. If you're from here, you know that we wear the 757 on our chest. So this is huge today as we honor a Peninsula legend, Island Ireland. Now, as I mentioned, born and raised right here in Newport News, I know too well about just the talent that this city holds. So I promise you all that we are gonna have some fun today as we honor Alan Iverson. We have some folks in this room who have played an instrumental part in his life and career. We have city and state leaders here, and we also have some celebrity guests. But before we get into our program, can we please just silence our cell phones? We don't want any distractions during this ceremony. And we don't have to turn them off, just silence them. Now, with that being said, let's welcome Newper News Mayor Philip Jones to the podium. How's everyone doing today? Well, look, good morning. For those who don't know me, I'm Mayor Philip Jones, Mayor of the City of Newport News. Welcome to this exciting and historic day for Newport News, right? At this time, I would ask you to please join me in welcoming the family of our guest of honor. I know that we have several members of the Iverson family here. I know we have family, extended family, cousins. So everyone that's family of AI, just please stand up. Just stand up. Additionally, let me welcome and introduce you to our distinguished visitors on stage with me, Governor Glenn Youngkin. Our hometown Congressman Bobby Scott. James Pooh Johnson. Marcella Spencer Boo Williams. And Mike Goings, Philadelphia 76ers, Vice President of Social Responsibility and Fan Development. And as a politician, I know I have to recognize all of the distinguished guests. There are too many of you to recognize, but I do want, if you are elected official, please stand. There's probably 40 of you. So if we could just please stand. Special shout out, of course, to Newport New City Council and the uh, school board chair, Lisa, who's my counterpart on the school board. We really do appreciate you, and we'll see you tonight for State of the City. And of course, we cannot forget the man of the hour, Alan Bubba Chuck, AI, the answer, Iverson. Listen, this is truly exciting for me to once again meet a man who has made his mark on the world, but never forgot home. I, and by I, I mean we, Newport News City Council, we are honored to name a street after him and to recognize him for the amazing athlete that he is. I love being mayor. It's the best job I ever had, but I heard governor's pretty fun too. Just 
one week ago today, the City Council authorized the naming of a portion of 16th Street from Wickham Avenue to Walnut Avenue as Allen Iverson Way. I really wish the weather had cooperated with us today because Allen Iverson Way is a beautiful spot with gorgeous views of the water. I realized that AI was born in Hampton, but he has become an honorary son of Newport News, and Allen Iverson Way along 16th Street serves as one of the main access points to the Stewart Gardens community where Allen spent most of his young years. During his junior year, AI led Hampton's Bethel High School Bruins to state championships in football and basketball. Double-double. Then he went on to establish an extraordinary college career at Georgetown and became one of the greatest NBA players of all time. Which was solidified by his induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Practice? We talk about practice? <laughs> we'll hear more about that during today's program from other speakers. Thank you again to all of you who came here to celebrate our hometown hero. Thank you. Okay, I hope that we keep the excitement going. Y'all are pumped up in here this morning. Next up, we have our Newport News native and former voice contestant, Jonathan Holmes, that will lead us in our national anthem. Jonathan. Can I get all, everybody to stand, and fellas, could you please remove your hats? about shooting hoops. Now, from my understanding, y'all, Governor Glenn Youngkin used to cross folks up on the court back in the day and twist some ankles. <laughs> That's what this street talking about. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I would just love to see Governor Youngkin and AI do a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe we can make that happen. <laughs> it's a nice day outside. I think a court is around here somewhere, but but before we can ever see that, so let's get back to our program. We have Governor Glenn Youngkin here who will share some remarks. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. 
Well, good morning. Good morning. Come on, this is amazing. Yes. Come on, we are here to celebrate and honor a legend. Yes. A legend. We're going to make that a little taller. <laughs> thank you. Mayor Jones, thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your welcome. And I hope that your State of the City address tonight goes extremely well because the city is doing great under your leadership. And so thank you. <laughs> Congressman Bobby Scott, thank you. You understand what it means to support this amazing community. Thank you for your leadership. And we see so many extraordinary coaches and sports legends here. And I want to start with Pooh Johnson. Pooh, thank you. <laughs> And to have, to have Mike Goings here is unbelievable. Mike started working for the 76ers when he was 21 years old. He's been there for 19 years. Thank you for being here. And then I got to have a special welcome for a friend of mine, Boo Williams. Come on, Boo. Let me tell you one special story about Boo Williams. See. AI and I have something in common. We have a common coach, and that's Boo Williams. That is Boo Williams. I got a college scholarship because of Boo Williams. Now let me tell you, that's about where my basketball career and AI's basketball career were the same, because mine kind of ended a little bit after that. But that is what Boo has done for this community and this nation, is he helps young people find their dreams. And so, Boo, thank you for helping me find mine. <laughs> Amazing. There's icons from the music industry here. I'll leave that for someone else. But what we're here to do is honor a legend, yes. truly a legend. Yes. And let's just start with the fact that there's not many people in this world who are named for the Virginia Basketball Player of the Year. I don't know of anybody that's been the Virginia Basketball and Football Player of the Year in the same year. How about this? He goes to Georgetown and he is Rookie of the Year in the Big East and he wins two Big East Defensive Player of the Year award. Not a lot of people know that the guy will D you up. He will get in your grill. NBA Rookie of the Year, 11-time NBA All-Star, two-time NBA All-Star Game MVP, NBA MVP. This guy is a legend. He will break your knees. He will pull up for threes. He will stop, pop, and then hip hop. He will, in fact, cross you up and then D you up. He will stare you down and then he will throw down. This man is a legend. <laughs> what I love most about Allen Iverson is that he came home. What does it mean to come home? It means that you demonstrate to everybody that Newport News rocks. Yes! You demonstrate to everybody that coming home matters. You demonstrate to everybody that you can invest in your community and you can give back. You demonstrate to everybody that dreams come true and then you go back to where those dreams were born what it means is that you invest. And AI, thank you. Thank you for investing in your home community. Thank you. What it also means is that there are kids all over Newport News, the peninsula, Hampton Roads, Virginia, and the country who see you and dream again. And so thank you for not just chasing your dreams, but unlocking dreams for thousands and thousands and thousands of kids. That's what it's about. 
Now, I know being mayor of Newport News is a fine job, but being governor is pretty cool, too. <laughs> and one of the things I get to do as governor is I get to, I get to proclaim things. And so there is Allen Iverson Way, which is an amazing double message. It's not only honoring a place in Newport News that forever people will say, hey, this is about Allen Iverson. But I love the fact that it is named Allen Iverson Way. And we can look and see when a man chases his dreams, and yes, he has some hardships along the way, and then he gets a second chance, and then he makes something amazing of it, and then he comes home and demonstrates that the Allen Iverson Way is a lot more than a street name. And therefore, one of the great things I get to do as governor is I get to proclaim days. So today we get to proclaim ways and days. And I will skip all of the great stats, but let me do this formally. By virtue of the authority vested by the Commonwealth in the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, there is hereby officially recognized Allen Iverson Day. I therefore, Glenn Youngkin, do hereby recognize March the 5th, 2024, as Allen Iverson Day in the Commonwealth of Virginia. to go after that, Congressman Bobby Scott, but here's the mic for you. conflict. Um, Pooh Johnson, Boo Williams, Mike Goings, good to see you, and all of the elected officials from Phil Jones, members of council, and other elected officials. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's great to be with you here this morning as we have this great naming ceremony for the new, <clears throat> the new Allen Iverson Way. For many years now, Allison Iverson, or AI, has been the source of tremendous pride for us in Hampton Roads, and it it's fitting that we'll be naming a street after him right here in Newport News, where he spent much of his childhood living right here in Seward Gardens. He attended Bethel. He became all too clear that he was an extraordinary athlete destined for greatness. He was an exceptional on not only the basketball uh, court, but also the football field. And every, no, everybody knows that politicians can talk on and on and on, and we can talk on and on forever about his accomplishments. But I think the thing that is important to me is the fact that with all his fame, he never forgot where he came from. Amen. He has come back to the Hampton Roads Boys and Girls Club made contributions and mentored the young children to get the next generation on the right track. And that's something for which the city council thought they needed to honor him. And they thought about it long and hard and came up with the answer. Yeah. 
came up with the answer. I join everybody here in congratulating him for representing our community during your legendary career and for your much deserved recognition on Allen Iverson Way. Congratulations. When we talk about instrumental leaders in AI's life, we cannot forget about James Pooh Johnson. I know many of you all in here already know who he is, but for those of you who don't, he has played an instrumental part in mentoring thousands of our youth right here on the East End in downtown Newport News. I'm not going to dim his light, I'll let him share it, but next up, we are going to welcome Pooh Johnson. Yeah. You know, <laughs> normally when I come into a place like with my people, it's a truly blessing. And the Boys and Girls Club have, cool, and the rest of the Boys and Girls Club members and the parents in the East End in Hampton. I was blessed to be born and raised in two of the greatest cities in the world, Hampton and, and Newport News. Fifty-two years, I've been, uh, my neighbor said, uh, laboring in the vineyard. And I'm thinking just with, like, with Iverson, with Bubba Chuck. I always start out with God's gift to Iverson and us is good health, a will to do right, and good health again. Our gift back to the law is to go out and treat people like you want to be treated. Our gift to the law is to speak up on behalf of those that are incapable and sometimes not able to speak up for themselves. With Iverson, and I look at his life and Here's a prime example of that. Hard work over Trump's talent. The obstacles and the roadblocks that he had to have to be, and I'm so proud of him becoming a man from a boy. I don't mind being called him a boy because he was a boy when he first came to the club. And he grew up to be a good, decent man. But he had roadblocks. He had stumbling blocks. What he did with those roadblocks and stumbling blocks, he made sand and dust off. Yeah, yeah. He's un unapologetically an inner city youth. So he has his own style, his own way. And he's a young kid can look at him and say, hey man, if Chuck can come out of Stewart Garden, and he can come out of Pine Chapel, Newsome Park, North Newport News, you know, Carver High, Huntington, all. Here's our neighborhood kid. Nothing can, can take that place. So I asked him one day, he did so much for the Boys and Girls Club. And I said, you know what, Chuck? Man, you're doing so much for the Boys and Girls Club, and you do so much for me. What can I do for you? He said, Pooh, just be my friend. In the thick and the thin, be there for me. Then I share with life, and I tell all my youngsters that it's some good 
in the worst of us, and there's some bad in the best of us. So none of us need to get around the corner and talk about the rest of us. So what I'm saying is that I've seen him grow from a boy to a grown man, a family man, a hard man, and he had challenges like all of us gonna have challenges. But we're being challenged from the day we take our first breath to the day we take our last breath. So what we got to do is take an take example from Chuck and just say, okay, man, you, you, you're not going to please everybody, but, and you're going to get got. <laughs> if you set in the, in the industry in here. You're going to get got. Somebody's going to get you. Whether it be mama, daddy, granddaddy, son, or whatever. But when you get got, you got to say, well, let's move on. And you got to say, okay, let's share life. And I'm closing with the old saying that I learned from the hustlers on the street. You understand? Know because that's where I got my education off the docks. I'm the buzzer got to eat, and the squirrel got to eat. So that's where that... That's where that slogan come up with peaceful coexistence. And that's what we need to fight for. And I think that Bubba Chuck is on the way of leading us to that. I appreciate you, Bubba. It's no secret, without Pooh Johnson, we wouldn't have AI, but there's one more man sitting in here who we can thank right now for having him in the building. We all know who he is. I want us to stand up for this one. Can we please give a warm round of applause and stand to our seats, please, for Boo Williams. Thank you. It's like my point guard today. Before I start, and all families start with the mother, give Ann Abson a with his wife to put up with us. The greatest gift you can give somebody is the opportunity. Without an opportunity, you wouldn't be where you are. You only go through this life one time. I ain't never heard nobody go twice. I told people in 1982, the 757 has some of the greatest athletes this world ever seen. Amen. The people laughed at me. They said, boo, you on drugs. <laughs> then we came with J.R., Alonzo, Allen Allison. Yeah. Allen probably the best player I ever coached. Don't tell Zoe that, though. <laughs> Don't be mad at that. I know I got cameras out here. <laughs> it's a great day for Nuba News. Great yes. day for Al yes. to get a street named after him. But what out in the long run, I want to see the street with good people in it. No more drugs. We don't need another black man go to jail for drugs. We don't need to grow up and be good people. Lawyers, doctors, 
business people, be successful. Plumbers, use your hands. There's more things important. We don't need another, we don't need to build no more prisons. I like to come to a event where we don't have 50,000 police out there that you feel comfortable going to security. Life is short. You gotta live it the way. And this man, Alan Allison, lived it. One of the greatest players and persons ever coached. I'll tell you what. When I took Alan to North Carolina, you remember that, Alan? <laughs> I said, oh, Marine, don't tell nobody. <laughs> but this guy had 33 times at halftime. Wow. That was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in 43 years. We got a chance here, you got an opportunity here to see the greatest player under six feet in the world I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank everybody. Thank Alan. Uh, thank the city of the news. And everybody have a good day. Okay, we are halfway done through our program. I know that we all are ready for the unveiling, but last but not least, we have a piece of Philly here with us today. We have Mike Goings, who traveled all the way here from Philly, the Philadelphia 76ers Vice President. Let's all show him some Southern hospitality love. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, as the only non-Virginia person, I appreciate the, the reception. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, I'm, up, I'm from right up the road. I grew up in Washington, D.C., watching Allen Iverson at Georgetown as a young kid. So this is really a full circle moment for me. So let's give it up for AI. Yeah. I'm here to represent the Philadelphia 76ers and really talk about what AI means to that organization. Um, as the governor mentioned, I started as a 21-year-old kid, didn't know anything about working in professional sports. Um, and in my first two weeks working there, I watched this man score 60 points against the Orlando Magic. And I was like, man, is this what every game or every season is going to be like? But <laughs> It all worked out, and this man went on to have an amazing career. Um, but more than just watching him play, uh, being a part of some of the most special moments like today, having Allen Iverson way unveiled, uh, being a part of his Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame induction, uh, being a part of his banner being raised at the Wells Fargo Center and, and retired forever. Nobody will ever wear the number three again in Philly. And very soon, very soon, uh, unveiling a new sculpture at the Philadelphia Center. Yeah. So, you know, my job with the 76ers is to work with our former players, engage them back with the community, make sure that our fans never forget their legacies. Um, and this is a part of it. You know, it was important for me to be here and, and be a part of this, and I really want to thank the people that organized this, I want to thank the Iverson family. I want to thank everyone just for including me in this and accepting me as someone not from VA, uh, part of this event. But um, this is really truly special. Uh, I'll keep it brief, but you know, AI, you mean a lot to, to me personally. You mean a lot to the 76ers organization. Uh, we want to just thank you for everything that you've done, uh, being able to watch you grow from a player to a alumni and still having the impact, not only here in Virginia, but in Philadelphia and around the world is truly special. And I'm honored, very honored to be here. It's a pleasure. I appreciate everybody's reception. Thank you.
Okay, so this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is why you decided to come out today. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor Jones, I want you to come up here and stand beside me because he really is truly one of the reasons why this all happened today. And our city council members who are in the front row as well, thank you so much. So I'm gonna let you take it from here, but this is the part where they're itching for, so. I got it. They're excited. Okay. <laughs> so before I became mayor, I was in the Marine Corps for about 10 years. So we're gonna do some instructions. Okay, so we're gonna have, Urah, we're gonna have the family come on the left-hand side, and then we'll have the guest on the right-hand side. So let's everyone on stage come with me. <laughs> all right, it's complicated, all right? Sorry. We're going to count down three, two, one, but before, I want to make sure everyone is in place. So make sure everyone that you want right here, Pooh and Boo, you guys want to come here on this right, on this left hand side with us? You may move out the way. All right. Move that back on your back. Move out the way. Okay, we're going we're gonna to count this thing down and then we're going to move it from the bottom and we're going to throw it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor, three, two, one, to present Alan Iverson Way. That's a good photo. All right, we're gonna, everybody's going to stop. We're going to pause for a photo. Let me, let's everyone come in. Everybody's in. All right, three, two, one. Thank you, everybody. All right, we're going to sit down, and then we're going to hear from the man himself. Thank you so much. either, but Councilman John Ely is another person that really visioned this ceremony, and this is one of the reasons why we're all here today. He's going to come up here beside me, and he's going to come and introduce Alan Iverson. I just want to thank everybody for coming here today. But before I get started, I want y'all to let y'all know I'm not this cool. My car got towed this morning with my glasses in there. <laughs> but I would like to thank everybody for being here this morning. Um, we all here for a great occasion. We here for Mr. Allen Iverson, a native, grew up, raised in Newport News, a gentleman who loved and cared for his community. It's countless amount of things that Mr. Iverson does for his community. I can remember one of the things he did. He didn't care for guns on the street. He wanted to get guns off the streets of Newport News. He gave the, the police department $100,000 to get guns off the streets of Newport News. The Boys and Girls Club needed a new gymnasium floor. Mr. Allen Iverson made sure they had a new gymnasium floor. Yeah. Every Christmas, every holiday, he comes back to his hometown to make sure kids have Christmas. He makes sure he feeds the community. 
And these are efforts not just done in Newport News. He also goes over to Hampton. Just recently, he paid for the whole senior class for all their applications to go to college. Mr. Iverson just don't do a new producer in Hampton, but he continued these same efforts in the Philadelphia, where his home of the 76 of his eye. And not just in Philadelphia, he continues his giving efforts. He also gives in China. So Mr. Iverson is a well giver. He loves his community, and he loves Upa News. I just want to thank our council for believing in me and Marcellus Harris. It was both of our vision to make this come, and it happened. So we could not do this without our support of our amazing council. I would also personally like to thank our city manager and the staff because they pulled this together in one week. <laughs> so at this time, the man of the hour, Alan Iverson. Fame, 
you know what I mean? It's 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 so much easier, but it's actually harder. And you know, just y'all that always stick with me. You know, when I need somebody to talk to, when I need somebody to tell me what I need to hear instead of what I want to hear, um, y'all always there for me. So I mean, like an accomplishment like this, you know, this is this y'all too. You know, y'all help do this. You know what I mean? And um, the people from Newport News have the Virginia period. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, this is for y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all should feel good about this accomplishment because y'all molded me. Y'all helped me. And, and I'm so proud of, like, where I'm from. I, I just love representing Virginia. I just, I just love representing Virginia. I love who I am if I die. You know, today and was able to come back tomorrow, I would want to come back Chuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and, and, you know, when, when people talk about me, it's so crazy. Because, you know, you think of New York, you think of L.A., you know what I mean? They think they got, you know, I, you, know you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I, I love dudes from you know, other places in the world, you know what I mean? My man, Steve in here, I love that man so much, yeah, you know what I mean? He came down to show me love like he, like he always do, that's my brother, you know what I mean, for life. But, um, like being from Virginia and, and me changing the culture, everybody talk about how AI changes the culture and everything. Man, that was because of you dudes in here and you women and here, you know what I mean? I ain't do nothing but bite off of y'all. You know what I mean? I dress like y'all dress and talk like y'all talk and walk like y'all walk. You know what I mean? I'm Virginia. And, you know, I, I, I want to thank y'all for just, you know, giving me that. You know what I mean? My confidence is everything. You know what I mean? It ain't cocky. It ain't arrogant. It's just being confident and believing in yourself. You know what I mean? My mom told me when I was eight years old that I could be anything I wanted to be. And I actually believed her, you know what I mean? Because she, she told me that I could be who I am today. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of times, you know, when we talk about being role models and, and it's always about the kids, you know what I mean? We always talk about, you know, you, you know you're a role model for the kids and this, that, and the third. But, I mean, it's for every age group, man, you can be whatever you want to be. You know what I mean? God, it's going to happen when God wants it to happen. You know what I mean? Your dream can come true when you over 50 years old. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's going to happen when, when, when he wanted to happen for you. And I'm just, you know, the, the, the only message that I'm, that I'm trying to kick is, man, dream and, 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 and fulfill it. You know what I mean? You got one shot at this thing. I mean, Boo said it like I, I don't know if you can come back again. I don't know if you can get another shot at it. But I'm just saying, like, when you have the opportunity in this one lifetime, man, just just go after it, man, and 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 do and be who the hell you want to be, man. You know what I mean? Live your life and be proud of being you. Don't disrespect whatever God you have and whatever God you you know believe in. Don't disrespect Him by wanting to be somebody else. There ain't nothing wrong with being you. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, I mean, I say it all the time. You know what I mean? Why not be you? Everybody else taking up. You know what I mean? So I just want to thank everybody, man, for making this thing happen for me, man. It's a blessing. I'm honored. You know what I mean? Um, damn. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm so blessed to have the people, you know, my family and my friends around me that support me through my ups and my downs. and you know, encourage me to do better and, you know what I mean, just do everything to help me live this 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 dream life, you know what I mean? And it's, it's hard, you know, waking up every day and, you know, it's always an uproar everywhere I go, you know what I mean, trying to go to the grocery store by myself and do the things that regular people do, but I, I, I'm, I, I do it the Allen Iverson way, you know what I mean? And I thank y'all, and I love y'all for coming out, please support me, please keep supporting me, I love y'all.
Vindaci, 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 Vindaci! It was great. All right, so in the last two minutes that we have, it, it falls on me to, to close this great day. So I do want to give a special sh uh, three shout out. So number one, uh, thank you to all of the city staff. That's the first responders, that's communications. That's, there's like 18 different departments here. That wait, where is, where is, where's Council Manili? John, come up here. Come up here, John. When, when Council Manili called me four weeks ago and said, do I have your support for this? I said, John, I'm giving the state of this, the city speech that same day. He says, I know, but it's got to happen on that day. So for the, city, for the city staff to make this happen in less than three weeks, let's give them a round of applause. My second thank you, I want all the uh, college presidents to please stand. Can we get the college presidents and representatives? We have Norfolk State, we have Christopher uh, Newport University, we have Virginia Peninsula Community College, and we have Hampton University. I think that speaks to the future. It speaks to how we can link Allen Iverson Way to the future. So thank you to all of our educators and our college presidents. This has been a wonderful celebration, honoring one that has made us proud. Thank you for coming out today. And final shout out to Councilman Neely for making this resolution happen. We appreciate you, John. Thank you so much. And with that, that concludes our program. Take care.